Today we're going to talk about how to blur videos. The, the question was how to make the tilt shift effect in video, um, which is what we've done here. And I, seeing as it's the same thing, I thought I'd also show you how to blur out a small section of a video. For example, if you've uh, recorded a video of you talking and I don't know, you've accidentally included a picture of your kids in the background and you just want to cover it up, that kind of thing. Okay. Let's go to Canva. We're going to start with a video. Let's go for mobile video. This is Canva tips for authors, where we talk, show authors how to use Canva better for their marketing. And my name's Jeeve. I write romance and women's fiction under the names Jeeve and Charika and Rhoda Baxter. The comment was on the uh, video about the tilt shift effect. So where you take a normal picture and make it look like it's a miniature. Question was, how can you do this in video? In a static image, you blur the top and the bottom and a little bit of the sides. Now you can't use the blur brush in the same way on a video. So I'm going to show you how to blur out bits of a video. So let's find a video of something that's far away. And we've got this sort of vertical aspect because it helps to have a bit more foreground if you're trying to trick your brain into thinking that something is closer. Okay. All right. So this is a video of some houses and it's quite clearly these things are far away. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and blur the bottom and the top, maybe a little bit of the sides. One easy way to do that is to make a frame. So let's, I'll just make the frame like this and show you to demonstrate it. And then we will lift it to the right size. So we're going to turn it white. And once we've done that, we are going to click on the slidey bars there and click on gradient. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a gradient that's transparent in the middle and white at the edges. Okay, so those are the wrong way around. So let's swap the colors around. Okay, now we're gonna have about maybe five or six white squares. So one, two, three, four, five, let's get rid of this one and six, okay. So we want it to fade out. So it's solid at the edge, solid at the next one, next one down to about 80%. We will change these later. Next one down to about maybe 35%. That one, I think we'll turn it to zero and that one down to zero. So, right. We've got something that's clear in the middle and it fades out to the edges. So let's make this bigger. I'm just going to fit. There we go. And that should do it really. Yeah, I think that should do it. Okay. So then we get our frame and we go to transparency and we fiddle about with it until it looks just a little bit blurred at the edges. And let's have a look what it looks like now. Okay, you see now it's kind of almost a miniature effect. So you can play with the transparency until you get what you want. And the other thing you can do if you wanted to make it even more blurry at the edges is to just add another frame on top where it's just blurred at the top and bottom. Okay, so that's how to blur if you wanted to put a blurred frame around it. But what if, seeing as we're authors, what if we have recorded a video for TikTok or Instagram and we've accidentally put something in the background that, I don't know, shows our bank details or something or names of our kids, whatever. That's the sort of thing that happens to me. I put things in with like, kids photo or something in the background. Okay. Right. So we want to blot out this corner here. What do we do? So we search for blur and you end up with various different blur elements. I quite like that one because it's slightly irregular and we shrink it down to size and we just want to get rid of this blue square here. So we pop it on there and that should keep going right the way through the video. So for this bit where she's moved over it, if you want to get rid of it, 
you can do that too. So what you do is you go right click on it, show timing, and now it gives you a nice little bar where your element is showing. We want it to stop about there we go around there she moves over and then we need just need to apply a new one and do the same again i find easier actually is just to chop the video up so there she moves over it And there she comes back. Okay, let's get this little blur element there. Don't need it for that one. We need it for that one. Paste. So we'll grab the blur element off here. Copy, Control C. We don't need it for that one. We need it for that one. And Control V. Don't need it for that one. Need it for that one. And put it back on for this one. Let's just play it back. Let's have a look. Show timing. Let's have a look now. Right, it's not perfect, but you could spend a little bit more time editing that. So that is one way to do it. If you have got something in the background that you don't want on your video, you can blur it out. The other way to do it, I think, is that you get your video, edit video, background remover, you just get the lady talking, and then you just change the background. That way you've got nothing in the background that's a problem. If you like this video, there's loads more on the channel, loads more techniques for using Canva. I'll see you in the next video.